Perception matters with everything. The way you think about something, the way you see something, the way you feel something. It matters in your movement forward in your life and it matters in the way that you are able to act and interact with pretty much everything. So this is my perception. This is my perception of how things happen and how things unfold. Um, and I've learned a lot of techniques. I've done a lot of stuff in the course of the last 10 years since I started working on my health and going from 300 pounds to where I am now, um, become, from being a pastry chef to becoming a personal trainer to um, all the certifications, everything that involved the physical training all the way through to all the mental, spiritual, emotional stuff. And it's all made a big difference. It's all had a huge impact. The biggest thing that had an impact on me that gave me this kind of um, open world, I don't even know what you call it, cosmic view of, of healing and of um, drastic change that was super rapid was Site K. And this is the reason I don't do it anymore. Because the way it was taught and my understanding, the perception, didn't match. It didn't, didn't work in my system. Um, what I had found out for myself, and you know, you'll do a program, you'll do something and you'll get these huge bumps. You'll get like bumps in good chemicals. You'll get to feeling really good. And in those moments, it's awesome. And then repeating it um, got to be a bit of an issue. Um, and so while it works great for some people, just like everything does, some people it doesn't. My experience was that because of my fight and flight, because of the depth of the trauma that I had suffered through, that sitting there and doing um, some of the stuff that we were doing wasn't working and it was in fact causing more issues in my system. Here's what I've learned about muscle testing is sometimes a muscle test doesn't work because the whole system globally is shut down. That's where mine was. My whole system was globally shut down. I've run into clients like that. I run into it all the time. And so being able to open somebody's system up and get the thing back online to even do a muscle test is a little bit of a, a jaunt in and of itself. And I learned that through energy psychology, through neurokinetic therapy, um, through many protocols that I've done. The idea of a whole brain state and the way it's used in Psych K is very special. The surprise balance that we learned inside one of the courses was very special. And it actually gave me kind of a peek into the quantum quantum world of this kind of stuff and energy healing and, and basically what you can actually really do for yourself. You know, after learning protocols and, and doing some of this stuff and then seeing it done without was a huge huge eye opener and I asked I actually took that and ran with it that concept to me was like the miracle Jesus healing kind of idea I thought it was amazing and beautiful and so what I teach people to do now I feel is more efficient when you have a system that is totally offline when you have a system where a person either can't feel anything they literally just can't can't find their system um, or the muscle test isn't giving you proper reads and you can get false reads even after you think you've reset a system, which is kind of interesting. A lot of what I do now is just basically very intuitive and recognizing and feeling emotions and understanding that those have to go along with the thoughts, beliefs, and memories, because if there's an emotion trapped in your system and that stays there, you know, you might get a good bump in chemicals for a few seconds, but what happens afterwards, right? And that's with any protocol. That's with any protocol. So you want to have a way where you can actually feel different inside your body. And my goal is to help people not only feel different, but train your body to stay in that feeling. When you can actually stay in the feeling of something better and learn how to open your eyes and walk around, walk around in it, it changes the nature of not only how you feel, but how you think about more things than just the one subject you might be working on inside of a, a specific protocol or idea. 
that feeling by itself, that higher vibration equates to the chemicals in your system. And when those chemicals are aligned from your heart, your heart, <laughs> your mind, and your gut, when they're all in alignment, that's when doors open up. That's when big things change. That's when you get this cascade of chemicals through your system that causes rapid healings. And to me, that's kind of where the big bang is. That's where the big rub on all this stuff is, is how do you get there quicker? How do you get to that place quicker, right? Um, Joe Dispenza does it by using this breathing technique that's pretty awesome. One of the things that I noticed um, was the combination of a whole brain state, and you, you can get in a whole brain state in a multitude of ways, but using the physiology of crossing your arms and legs because you can target specific things, um, specific issues, memories, beliefs, is an interesting concept. And then when you hit that high note of resonation, it just causes all kinds of cool stuff to happen inside your system. And so I find it very, very um, productive. I find it more productive for me um, going about finding the resonation, finding that high vibration first, and then going through the system and taking care of the thoughts, beliefs, and memories. Because in that high vibration, you've got kind of double duty going on and you can do more than one thing at a time. And staying in that place afterwards is the key to all of it. You have to train yourself to stay in that either, you know, if you're doing it thought by thought, memory by memory, belief by belief, you have to train yourself to stay in that new thought, belief, or memory. You have to train yourself and stay in that new feeling. And, you know, it's just like growing neuroplastic. When we were kids, it got into our, our minds super easy, that zero to seven age thing. It got in there super quick and super easy. As you get older, you can unplug it and put stuff in there super easy. But do you walk it out? And that's the question is how many times you get a change, you actually get your miracle, but then you let it slip away. And you don't walk it out in your life. You don't keep practicing it. And the idea of practice for some people is kind of rough because we don't want the practice. We just want the miracle cure. But you're practicing something whether you think you are or think you're not. And so if you can find that higher feeling and you can stay in that place and it gets better and better and better, that's a practice. And that's what I try and get people to do. That's what we talk about doing all the time. When you recognize that that higher level feeling, that higher vibration does more than make you feel good, it opens all kinds of doors. That's where manifestation is. That's where healing sits. Um, and you learn how to do it on your own. That's a big thing too. The second something happens, you have to be able to take care of it in that moment. You can't wait, you know, to hope somebody else can help you do it. If you know how to do it, if you know how to use a whole brain state effectively, quick and easy, you can lean against the wall and take care of anything that shows up. Training your body to stay in that higher resonation will come back to you. It will benefit you a hundredfold if you can stay in that place or when you learn how to stay in that place. It will benefit you over and over and over because when things happen around you, Instead of your mind going down the pike and going back into negativity, <clears throat> we're training it to give you that positive feeling. And that's the key to this is to learn how to stay in that positive place, learn how to stay in that different vibration. When you can do that, you've hit a home run. And that's, um, that's where I'm at now. That's what I'm doing. I think it's a natural progression for my evolution um, and my spiritual path and my, um, even my physical and emotional path, right? It's the whole evolution of, of where I have taken this stuff. So I hope this benefits you and I hope it blesses you. Um, let me know uh, what you think, where I can answer questions, where I can help. I don't mind doing that. So blessings and peace.